sessions for like, you know, anything like that. All right. Welcome, everyone. It's a great pleasure for me to uh, introduce uh, Daniel Arvas today. And uh, he's from Sabbatical, he's in EU. He's going to be here for another six weeks or so. So, this is a great opportunity for anyone that wants to talk some physics with him. Uh, feel free to contact him uh, or, or through me uh, or directly. And uh, maybe you guys can schedule a time. Um, so, uh, Dan. Uh, um, it has, uh, of course, done some similar work in uh, a lot of areas, particularly quantum magnetism. And uh, it, it actually, uh, I, I, without him know, knowing, I owe him probably uh, my career. <laughs> because uh, back in Argentina, back in the day, uh, before we had uh, computers that could do Quantum Monte Carlo. Uh, my group, my research group, the, the group I joined, uh, was working on Schwinger bosons, uh, motivated by a series of uh, papers by him, also as an hour back. And, uh, and I did my PhD thesis on uh, Schwinger bosons. And so uh, that group in Argentina has formed generations of uh, PhD students uh, uh, that, uh, you know, uh, did. Uh, that based their, their work on, on those original papers. So uh, well, it's a great pleasure to have him here today, and he's going to tell us about open quantum systems. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you, uh, Adrian, uh, for the uh, kind invitation, and, um, uh, and, and hello to everyone that's sitting there uh, watching in the ether. Um, so, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, tell you about some, some work uh, with uh, my student, Jotska. Hey, and, 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 um, Sorry, was, uh, that was someone who uh, so burps. Okay. Uh, that was uh, uh, just uh, you know, uh, recently um, published in PhysRev A. There's a uh, 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 paper in PhysRev B uh, that, 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 that um, uh, looks at a substantially equivalent model. Um, I, uh, I was going to say something, you know, self-deprecating about the model that, that, that we studied, but uh, I don't want it to, 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 to stain you know, these fine people over here. Uh, but it, it's uh, in, in large, uh, to a large extent, a, a ridiculous model that, that, that wants to tell us something maybe about, uh, you know, uh, model building, uh, but it's a, um, and it's also an extension of, of some Work uh, that I'll mention uh, uh, shortly uh, by uh, Shibata and Katsura in uh, 2019. Well, um, <clears throat> let's 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 start. So um, you know the, the uh, let's see if I can first manage to turn the this uh, this this is not uh, um, there we go. Sorry, we're just trying to advance the. Okay, this is, I think I have to, this says the content of this meeting is being sent to a third party. Oh, so I'll just, just have to second. click OK. Uh, sorry, so I got it. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, that's better. All right. Uh, is that working? All right, so, you know, at the risk of bringing, you know, coals to Newcastle, so there are many you know, experts uh, here in the audience, and I'm sure out there on Kintaya model, but, um, you know, in case any people watching have been spelunking underneath Kentucky for, you know, the past, uh, you know, decade or, or so, let me just summarize since it will form a basis of what I'm going to talk about. So, you know, here's the, the IKEA version of the Kataya honeycomb lattice model. You open a, you open a, a big box and it has N of these, you know, blue sticks, N of the red ones, N of the green ones, uh, two end of these uh, uh, little uh, uh, pegs that, that they are uh, vertices that, that uh, each can uh, uh, attach to three of these sticks. And then the uh, instructions are on a slip of paper, very, very small, it just says, you know, each one of these uh, uh, vertices lies at the confluence of one, uh, each of the blue, red, and green um, uh, sticks. And so uh, the, uh, um, once again, 
Uh, okay, uh, sorry, you yeah, Okay, sorry. great. Uh, maybe I have just to just a here. couple of seconds. Okay, so okay, so here we go. So the uh, um, so you can do uh, various things with this. Uh, you can make lattices like the honeycomb lattice in, in Times uh, in 2006 paper. Um, you can have other threefold coordinated lattices that, that satisfy this rule, like this uh, square octagon lattice consisting of squares and, and what are octagons. Uh, you can even make three-dimensional uh, lattices like uh, hyper honeycomb. And the idea is that uh, you, um, uh, you then... Um, uh, yeah, it's working. It's working. It's just okay. the zoom because it's zoom. Because it's zoom, it takes a while. Takes, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so you. I guess we're not getting the, the bottom of the screen, but that's okay. So, the, the, well, you know the story. You you put these Ising interactions on each of the different colored links. Uh, uh, you know, an XX Ising interaction on the blue link, or YY on the green, ZZ on the red, and um, and then this uh, uh, through some Majorana magic becomes. Uh, solvable in in a sense, not 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 really solvable um, uh, in, in that you know, we can't find uh, uh, you know all the all the um, all the eigenstates and energy levels without you know diagonalizing some large matrix. But it's equivalent to some non-interacting problem. And and again, the way uh, this this works is you you, you introduce these four species of uh, Majorana fermions as Kitayev did. Um, that obey this, these anti-commutation relations, and then from these you can you can uh, define Pauli matrices, and uh, there is a constraint on the product of the Majoranas, and you know because uh, four Majoranas um, uh, gives you actually four degrees of freedom, um, and, you know each it gives you a, a factor of square root of two, as it were, um, and so in order that x y is equal to i z rather than Minus i z, you need to work in some sector where the product of all the Majoranas is plus one, uh, you know, rather than uh, uh, minus one. So um, uh, once this is done, then you can see that these Ising interactions, uh, you know, uh, take the form of uh, uh, something that looks like a Majorana hopping of the of the zero species, multiplied by um, a uh, another you know bilinear Majorana bilinear of the you know one species in, in that case, um, which uh, is a, a Z two gauge field. It takes the values plus or minus one, and uh, so that that UIJ commutes with the hopping term. And because the the uh, uh, the all the different U's that share a vertex are of uh, different colors, um, you know two Majorana you know bilinears will commute if they. Um, don't share any of their flavors, uh, so um, that uh, that means that all the all the gauge fields commute, and they commute with the uh, uh, the hopping terms. They don't commute with a con uh, con constraint. Uh, they anti commute with a constraint. So you you have to ap apply this uh, constraint projector uh, in, in principle, but you can solve for you know the, the eigenvalues um, just by. Uh, solving a non-interacting Hamiltonian. Uh, of course, the, there are many, many, many uh, possible configurations of these uh, of the of the, uh, the gauge field, and characterized by these uh, gauge invariant content, the Plaquette fluxes and and Wilson loops, um, and um, those don't necessarily form a nice you know, translationally invariant uh, background for you. But uh, in principle, again, it's just a, a non-interacting fermion hopping problem with uh, some uh, uh, in principle, you know, uh, uh, you know, BCS type terms uh, like C dagger, C dagger. If you write it in terms of complex fermions, so you know, again, uh, here are some uh, examples. You know, you you can think of these Majoranas as uh, uh, partons. You, you uh, each you know site you have a a black, a blue, a, a green, and a red. Uh, you know, Majorana, and then you, uh, uh, if, if you, if you connect them like this, uh, you form these Z two gauge fields on each of the bonds. There are nice, you know, uh, generalizations like this, like for this model uh, from uh, Yao and, and Kibbelson, where that they have some decorated honeycomb lattice, uh, and um, this this was a nice model because when you have you know, triangles, then the under time reversal, the, the Z two flux reverses. And uh, so you can, you can have, uh, um, you know, uh, 
pairs of time reversal related states. And in fact, for that model, uh, you, 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 depending on the ratio of the hopping on the triangles and, uh, and, and not on the triangles, um, there is a, a topological phase transition. Um, okay, so this is sort of uh, you know, old stuff. Um, and then one, one last thing is to, to point out that uh, for the Hamiltonian ground state, you, know, you, you minimize the fermion uh, hopping energy over all possible gauge configurations. Uh, there's this theorem due to uh, Lieb, uh, which, which helps. It basically says that if, uh, if, if your lattice has uh, a bisector uh, in the form of a line or a, or a function line and plane that, that don't contain any sites, then the, um, the ground state uh, flux configuration is reflection uh, symmetric um, with um, uh, the uh, you know, directed product of the gauge fields, you know, around uh, a uh, <clears throat> uh, each plaquette equals uh, to minus one for every plaquette bisected. Um, so anyway, that that tells you, for example, in the square octagon lattice, the Leibniz theorem would tell you that the all the fluxes and the squares and all the octagons, assuming you had that, um, that that translational symmetry of the structural unit cell, would be the you know the uh, uh, the, the blue bands uh, as opposed to the red ones, and you can just see that the, the energy is lower uh, for the for, for that that first case. Uh, all right, so now um, uh, okay, so now let, let me introduce another. Um, topic which we'll enter in here, which is the, the GKLS master equation. Um, and this stands for uh, Gorini, Kosakowski, Sudarshan, uh, and uh, Lindblad. I guess Lindblad snuck in in third place in that list because of uh, alphabetization. Um, uh, the, the, uh, um, so here's the idea, you have some, some system um, and a bath described by a density matrix initially assumes, you know, to be a, just some uh, tensor product of, of uh, density matrices for the system in the bath. You evolve this unitarily um, according to some Hamiltonian, uh, which includes, you know, system bath and then uh, interaction terms. Compute the reduced density matrix and uh, this then, uh, okay, this is not working well. This thing here. I think I better stick to the computer to advance the slides. So, okay. So it, it results in, 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 in this uh, equation uh, in the center, uh, which is called the Krauss map. Um, it's a generalization of unitary evolution. Um, and these Krauss uh, operators V alpha, um, they, they um, uh, have to satisfy this sum that uh, V dagger V is equal to one. Uh, not V V dagger, but V dagger V has to sum to one. In that case, the trace, of, as you can see, of the, the reduced density matrix uh, is preserved. Um, and uh, so again, this is like a generalization of, of, of unitary evolution. And um, the, uh, this, is the, the most general form of a quantum channel satisfying these various good things, linearity, um, trace preservation, hermeticity preservation, and something I won't, I won't uh, describe, which is um, complete positivity. Um, and um, the, uh, you might wonder you know, what linear you know, trace preserving, hermeticity preserving map, uh, you know, would not preserve uh, complete, uh, would not be completely positive. And uh, just to throw this out there, uh, matrix transposition is uh, such a thing. Um, uh, so um, uh, at any rate, the, the um, uh, so the uh, uh, infinitesimal unitary evolution, as you know, um, leads Liouville's equation for the density matrix um, infinitesimal evolution by the, the Krauss map leads this uh, GKLS master equation, uh, which also preserves all the good things. Um, 
uh, for a detailed derivation of this, um, there's this book on open quantum systems by Breuer and Petruccioni. Um, you can go take a look in chapter three. Um, there are various you know, papers in the literature about this, but the point is you can see from this equation governing the evolution of the reduced density matrix for the system that uh, you know, the first term on the right-hand side uh, is just the usual you know, Liouville equation. And then you have a, a second term, which is linear in the density matrix, um, but it involves these operators, um, L sub alpha, which encode the effect of the environment. Those are called jump operators. Um, and uh, you can just see by looking at this uh, and uh, using uh, cyclic uh, uh, invariance of the trace that, that the trace of the right-hand side of this equation goes to zero. Trace of the commutator is always zero. The, and the trace of the, the, uh, the this so-called Lindblad dissipator, that second term, is also zero. So the density matrix, um, the, the trace uh, is, is the, the constant in time. Um, all right, so uh, this model of, of the you know, evolution of open quantum systems is used quite, uh, quite often in the literature. There are a number of bodies buried in the derivation uh, I'm not going to get into uh, uh, any of that, um, but you can again, you know, see Breuer and Petruccioni uh, for 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 that story. Okay, so one last thing about this is that there's this um, uh, Troy Jomiakowski uh, isomorphism where you take the density matrix, um, uh, and and then we we take a uh, uh, the um, the bra of the density matrix and turn it into a ket. And, and, and thus we can represent the density matrix, again, the reduced density matrix of the system um, as a, a, a vector in some doubled Hilbert space. So normally you would have you know, row MN, the coefficients, you'd have uh, you know, ket M bra N, but now we have ket M uh, bra N. So uh, again, we have the double Hilbert space and the, um, the evolution equation, uh, the, the GKLS master equation, then it takes the form of a, of a Schrodinger equation uh, with some Hamiltonian, we'll call it W, which is non-Hermitian. It's a non-Hermitian Hamiltonian acting on a doubled um, Hilbert space. So, um, uh, so the, um, and it looks like this. Um, so it's, it's uh, maybe I can uh, use my little green laser here. So um, here, these are the terms, of course, from the commutator. And this is, you know, what happens to the Lindblad dissipator. You'll notice where we, you know, sometimes where we had uh, L dagger, we now, uh, you know, um, uh, have uh, uh, um, uh, L, L transpose or L star. Uh, and and so the, the um, uh, that's that's because of this you know ket bra uh, transformation. Um, all right. So the um, uh, um, okay. Uh, yeah, I would just want to point out that if you're going to take an operator expectation value, um, I'm not going to you know need this in what I'm talking about, but just to point out something. Uh, that's uh, you know, relevant here is, is, is that um, you, you don't take the expectation value in this state uh, ket row because expectation values are, are linear in the density matrix. Uh, so rather, you, you really have to compute a matrix element in this double open space. So it's a little bit uh, uh, um, uh, you know, different than what you might naively expect. But uh, again, it, it corresponds to non Hermitian. Uh, Hamiltonian evolution. Um, okay, so now we come to um, the Shibata Katsura model. Um, so, this uh, is a very nice paper from uh, about five years ago. So, what they considered was some dissipative spin a half chain with this Hamiltonian. You have, um, let's say, you know, links between site, you know, uh, uh, where the, 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 the odd site is on the left and then the even site you know, is on the right, 2n, 2n, 2n minus 1 and 2n. And those have xx interactions. 
and from you know, the two n uh, the two n plus one links, those have y y. Um, so you can see this Hamiltonian is you know highly you know extensively degenerate because the um, on the uh, on the, the x x links um, that commutes with the uh, y y, and on the y y links that commutes with uh, x x, and so you have uh, a, a large number of uh, uh, conserved quantities. Um, but now, uh, you, so they're not just interested in the Hamiltonian; they're interested in uh, this Hamiltonian in this setting of the of this uh, Lindblad uh, evolution, and so they have to choose some jump operators. Uh, and the ones they choose are the Pauli Zs. And this corresponds to dephasing noise, which destroys quantum coherence. And in the vectorized uh, formulation that we just talked about, this corresponds to a ladder, a non-Hermitian spin ladder. So we can, we can think, remember, we have a doubled Hilbert space. So I'll call the Pauli operators X, Y, Z in one of the Hilbert spaces and X tilde, Y tilde, Z tilde in the second Hilbert space. And then, um, you know, picture is worth a thousand words. So here's the picture. And the, 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 this non-Hermitian uh, Kitayev solvable Hamiltonian is written on the bottom. Uh, gamma is the, um, the coefficient of this uh, Lindblad dissipator term with the one that has the jump operators in it. And, um, and then the, the first term there is, you know, uh, you know, H you know, from the commutator term, you know, H tensor identity minus identity tensor H transpose. Um, <clears throat> okay, why is this Kataev solvable? Well, just look at what you have at each one of these vertices that lies at the confluence of one uh, blue, one green, and one red link. Okay, so that means that it is. Um, uh, uh, equivalent again to a single species of Majorana hopping on this uh, on this lattice here, uh, this you know uh, uh, two leg ladder, uh, but um, but with uh, non Hermitian uh, hopping terms for the, uh, the hops on the rungs. Okay. Well, probably naive question in a quantum channel language, what cross operator correspond to this jump operator? Is it just the sum Z? It's just Z. The, this is the oh, oh what Krauss operator? Yes. Oh, uh, um, no, you know, I, uh, Please. let me, let, let me, let me think about that after, after, afterward. Okay. I mean, I think it, it, it's, it's difficult you know, to, to derive the, the jump operators from the Krauss operators. It, 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 it's, uh, well, I know, I, I know of, uh, you know, a way of doing this, you know, from a nice paper in Pearl in you know, 2012, but I, it's not immediately, uh, obvious to me what the, the answer is. Maybe it's immediately obvious to someone, just not me, but we can talk about this after, afterward. Um, all right, so, um, so let me just point out that when all jump operators are permission, okay, then um, GKLS, you know, you know the, the original formalism, you know, using the, the abelian, uh, not in the, not in the, uh, you know, the, the Hamiltonian evolution, uh, description, but you know, equivalent, of course. Uh, it corresponds to um, the, you know this this uh, Lindblad dissipator is a double commutator, okay? Because L and L dagger are the same, so that should be a, a double commutator, and uh, and then you can um, show that the most general non-equilibrium steady state or NES um, is. Uh, um, uh, uh, sum over over projectors, um, where the, these projectors are onto the uh, shared eigenspaces of H and all the Ls. So we have the Hamiltonian. We have a bunch of these jump operators. Um, in general, you know, the Hamiltonian never met any of the jump operators. Uh, they hadn't been properly introduced. You know, they you know, and uh, uh, and and the uh, jump operators may. Might not even know about you know, each other so much. So in general, they won't share any eigenspaces, you know, generically. But you can, you know, you can, uh, as, as you can see here, you can uh, uh, devise, you know, models you know, where they do. And uh, so if they don't, then the only solution, you know, for the the nest um, is um, that it's a it's just proportional to the identity. In other words, infinite temperature state. Okay. 
the, the Lindblad evolution will, the density matrix will, you know, whatever you start out with will eventually asymptotically approach uh, just uh, uh, infinite temperature state. Um, so rho is equal to one, you know, up to normalization. But if you have these other, you know, uh, shared eigenspaces between, you know, Hamiltonian and all the, the jump operators, then, then you have a, a, a bigger set and you can have a, a you know, a, you know, several, you know, a, a higher dimensional space in which the, you, you have non-equilibrium steady states. Um, so uh, again, uh, uh, the, uh, if, if, if the number of, of these shared projectors is zero, then you only have uh, rho equals one. For Shibata Katsura, it turns out there are two uh, nesses and, and we could write it in this form um, as I write over here. And the reason for this is that um, H and all the L's commute with the product of all the Z's. Remember, the Hamiltonian consisted of XX and, you know, YY uh, links. And so you can see that either one of those will commute with a, a product over all the Z's. And the jump operators are Z's, so they commute with the product also. So that gives us one you know, uh, shared eigenspace. And, and so, um, and then we have two non-equilibrium steady states. Uh, so in general, uh, depending on what you start out with, you will uh, end up with a state which is, uh, lies in that, in that subspace, of the, uh, the density matrix. Okay, so what did SK do? Um, so, you know, I, I, uh, you know, I'd like to say that, that something really you know, wonderful came out of this, but again, I think this is more just some, uh, uh, you know, hopefully uh, interesting exercise in model building. So what they did is as a function of, uh, of, of the, the, this dissipation parameter gamma, they, they computed the, the gap in the Liouvillean spectrum. So the, the, um, the, the, um, the eigenvalues of Liouvillean um, are, you know, or equivalently of non-Hermitian Hamiltonian um, are uh, in general complex. And so um, the, uh, uh, but the real, the real part um, of the Liouvillean eigenvalues are the imaginary parts of the non-Hermitian Hamiltonian, uh, uh, those eigenvalues will tell you the relaxation rates because the, you know, the state involves this e to the minus i wt. So we want to know uh, what, what are the imaginary parts of the, the eigenvalues of W. And so uh, what they found was that, you know, there's some, uh, uh, in initially, this, you know, gap um, in the relaxation rate goes linearly with, with gamma, the, the, the amplitude of the you know, dissipator. And then at, at large values of, of gamma, it goes, it crosses over to one over gamma. And um, the, uh, and, and so um, they also computed uh, what the the um, this gauge invariant flux content was in the different plaquettes, and that's shown uh, below each of these figures in each of these regions one and two. And one thing that's interesting about this um, that I probably don't understand uh, uh, sufficiently is that um, uh, you know they they see. Um, that they can have uh, states with many uh, Z2 vortices uh, that, that are present. Uh, what I mean by a Z2 vortex is, you know, let's say we start out with some fiducial um, assignment of all these um, Z2 fluxes for all the plaquettes. Um, in principle, we also have to include uh, the one Wilson there uh, as well. But, but um, let's just talk about the plaquettes to make things simple. And, and now you, the, the, you know, the nest is gonna lie in, in some flux sector. And they, they find that um, these uh, flux center sectors are not, uh, for, for, so the nest lies in a flux sector, so do, you know, each of the excited states. And they find that for these lowest excited states, the, the, the uh, um, sometimes that flux sector is not, you know, um, doesn't contain just, you know, one reversal of the, uh, of the fluxes in the, in, the, in the nest, but could, could, could contain several. Um, so, um, 
so the, actually there's there's more going on in that paper. I encourage interested people to to to, to look at it. Um, and as I'll mention, this behavior, you know, increasing linearly and decreasing as uh, is uh, inverse, uh, you know, uh, as the inverse is 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 very natural. And we could uh, argue uh, argue this very simply, and and, and I'll, I'll I'll mention that. Right? So, um, all right. So now uh, we come to uh, you know another uh, bit. Uh, by the time I get to the model that that, that, that you looked at and, and the. Uh, the one that Shackleton and Schur looked at, uh, there won't be that much to say because it'll be basically an analogous, uh, an analogy to Shibata Katsura. But uh, gamma matrix uh, Kataev models. So, okay, so you have this, uh, you know, Clifford algebra of uh, gamma matrices, and uh, you can uh, you know, represent them uh, in, in, the, in the following way with, you know, tensor products of, of, of Pauli. Oh, I should, I, I should, uh, Mentioned since I'm here, this beautiful paper by Victor Chua, Hang Yao, and, and, and Greg Feet, um, uh, should have said 2019 and not 20119, you know, 20,000, you know, 18,000 years in the future. Uh, but but, but um, uh, yeah, so they, they had a very nice uh, model on, on the uh, uh, Hamiltonian Kataev model on the um, uh, Kagame lattice, with, uh, with which um, uh, was very cleverly, uh, you know, uh, constituted, and it wound up having uh, two species of hopping Majoranas and some Z two background. And one very nice thing about that was uh, that you got some uh, interesting uh, uh, and, and uh, stable um, Fermi surfaces uh, that, that, that appeared. But uh, that was okay. That's that's all the advertisement you're going to get, Greg. So the, 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 <laughs> right. but it, it's a, it was a very nice paper. And, of the figures. So, um, all right. So, in this, uh, you know, Majorana representation, you could also represent the, the you know, these um, higher level, you know, uh, the gamma matrices from these higher level Clifford algebras. Uh, once again, there is a you know, some projector that you have to apply on each site. So, at level, you know, k equal at level k, let's say, um, you have two k plus one um, gamma matrices. So. For k equals one, you have three gamma matrices. Those are the Paulis. For k equals uh, uh, you know, uh, two, you have five, and those are the uh, these uh, five anti-commuting uh, uh, you know, Dirac uh, matrices. Um, of course, then you also have um, the commutators of those Dirac matrices, um, which give you, you know, new uh, new matrices, and so the, the total number of, of of the matrices you get in, in, in that case is, uh, is is 16 from when you include the identity. And that forms a basis, of course, for four by four you know, Hermitian matrices. And then uh, I know, uh, you, you, well, you can go on to K equals three where you have eight by eight gamma matrices, uh, and, and, et cetera. Uh, when I was uh, giving a talk on this at, at BU, uh, um, uh, the, uh, Paul Kropinski, Kropinski you know, said, well, why don't you have, what's the name for that? Uh, the, the eight by eight gamma matrices. So if anybody knows, tell me. Uh, Chris Lauman suggested Larry. That you should. <laughs> so, so I don't know who Larry is, but um, anyway, so you, this construction can keep on going. And, and okay, so what, this, what will happen then is, uh, you, know, you, you can do the same sort of thing for, uh, with, with these, um, uh, uh, you know, Dirac matrices, uh, four by four. Um, so now there are five of them. And so, so now the, the, the Ikea instructions, you know, give you these, you know, five-fold, you know, you know, these links with five little plugs coming off of them. And so you need to choose a, a five-fold uh, coordinated lattice where each vertex lies at the confluence of five distinctly, you know, labeled uh, 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 links. And so um, uh, one uh, lattice looked at with uh, looked at with my colleague Kong Jun Wu uh, a number of years ago. Uh, uh, now since I uh, moved to China, um, and the student Shang Kong Kong was this uh, uh, Shastri Sutherland lattice on the left, and then you could uh, uh, look at uh, these you know, 3D three D versions like this cubic lattice of octahedra. So it's the same sort of story. You just have on each of these lattices, you know, each link uh, has a, some, some Z2 gauge field, 
and you just compute the the lowest energy of the this uh, Meyer on a Hamiltonian. So so that's it. Uh, the the, um, the gamma matrices, you know, you might say, you know, why are you looking at that? That's very artificial. Uh, it's true, but um, there is some relation uh, to uh, the the uh, uh, spin three halves algebra through these uh, the, the, these five gamma matrices are, are like the quadrupole operators within the spin three halves um, uh, algebra, and so um, you can you know, uh, try, you know, if you're let's say writing a grant proposal to connect it with actual you know uh, you know quantum spins, um, but uh, you know the, the uh, um, but we'll, we'll just consider these as uh, Dirac matrices. Um, and I just wanted to uh, uh, you know, say that um, for this uh, Shastri Sutherland you know, model, again, for those uh, who haven't uh, uh, weren't familiar with this, that, um, that well, now for, on, on this uh, lattice, there's, there's no, there are no bisectors that don't, you know, contain the, um, well, there are no bisectors, the, the, the reflections. Uh, and, and so um, Leib's theorem is out the window, so you sort of have to hunt for the, the, the lowest flux you know, configuration. And um, uh, so the, um, uh, so it, it uh, will be this one that gives rise to the blue, um, where you have minus fluxes in all the, the squares and uh, minus in all the triangles. Uh, but because of time reversal, it, it might as well be plus in all the triangles. At any rate, you know, you 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 have a you know, very similar situation. Just to you know, point out that it's very similar to the, this, uh, um, you know, the, these um, uh, you know, Kantai of honeycomb models. When you add in t reversal, t uh, breaking terms, like putting in triangles, like in this uh, uh, Yao Kibbelson mechanism, or or putting in explicit you know, X, Y, Z type, uh, uh, you know, on, on neighboring sites uh, uh, terms in the, in the Hamiltonian. And there is, a, you know, a, there is a, 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 a topological phase transition and the correlations are, you know, ultra local and all this, all this stuff uh, and the, the vortices bind uh, uh, Majoranas. We all knew that just from the fact that, you know, it corresponds to this Meyer on Hamiltonian. All right. Well, let me let me. You know, I don't have to dwell on on this. So now let's finally get to the, this model uh, that, that my student and I have worked on, um, and uh, the um, uh, and, and again I, I want to emphasize that there's this paper by uh, uh, Shapovalov and Schur, and I, the Tesh Shapovalov is over at uh, Harvard. I think he's a student over there, uh, and and um, so uh, the um, so this proceeds uh, along the lines of Shibata Kansura, uh, at least the way we did it, with uh, uh, this uh, uh, Dirac matrix model on the square lattice. Um, so now you have a square uh, a square lattice. You can um, the, the set of the link of links you can um, uh, break up into you know uh, groups you, know, you know, four different classes. I call them one, two, three, and four. Um, and then at each site, there is some uh, jump operator, which again is uh, in, in Shibata Katsura was proportional to the square root of gamma times Pauli Z. Here it's square root of gamma times gamma phi. Uh, and um, I should say that um, I believe this Shackleton and Schurer models is slightly different. I think their model is, is, is uh, uh, somewhat more in the, in the, in the vein of this paper by Chua Yao and Fida I mentioned, and, and that they have two species of um, uh, hopping uh, Majoranas, um, and, uh, uh, and, 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 and which is also the case for the, the square lattice model of Yao, Zhang, and Kibbelson uh, uh, some time ago. But uh, it's, it's substantially, you know, uh, you know, uh, the same sort of physics. Um, okay, so let me, you know, start to tell you about this and some of the uh, embarrassing details. But the, the, the idea is, again, you, know, you, you have this um, non-Hermitian Hamiltonian um, acting on this doubled uh, Hilbert space. You have uh, the, the, the double Hilbert space means you have a, a bilayer, a square lattice bilayer. 
uh, each site is fourfold coordinated in its plane, and then uh, uh, has a, a link um, where it, which has the non-Hermitian hopping to the to the opposite to the site, you know, directly above or below it on the opposite plane. And so now the the task is to find the spectrum of this non-Hermitian Hamiltonian in each uh, flux sector, um, and so. You are there are a number of um, conserved quantities here, uh, many more than in Shibata Katsura. In Shibata Katsura, you only had this you know Wilson loop of the Pali Zs uh, uh, around the, the, the system, but here um, you have all these plaquette fluxes, which are uh, conserved as well, um, and also uh, the, the Wilson loops. So that means that the space of Nesses is, is, is much bigger. Uh, in fact, there are you know, two to the n plus one uh, of, you know, shared uh, eigenspaces. And so we have this two to the n dimensional uh, Ness subspace within, uh, within the uh, entire uh, subspace of density matrices, which is uh, 16 to the n, n being the number of sites uh, in, in, in the, the square lattice uh, and um, 16 because uh, these are uh, gamma matrix models. So it's a four by four uh, density matrix uh, on each site. So, uh, so although this is an exponentially large number of nesses and you know, that it's uh, still vastly smaller than the total number of, 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 of states uh, in, the, in the system. Um, so, uh, uh, okay, so, so now um, we don't have a, a Leibs theorem, you know, to, to, for the, uh, this case to, to help us sort out the, um, the excited states. Um, we know that, uh, I, I, should, I should mention going back here, I, 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 I think of all of these, you know, two to the n plus one, um, uh, you know, Nesses as um, infinite temperature states because they don't depend parametrically on this small gamma on the on the coefficient of the uh, of the dissipator term. Okay. They they just depend on this gauge invariant content in the in the plaquette fluxes and the, and the Wilson loops. So um, so it's sort of a block of infinite temperature states, as it were, and. Um, so, um, so we, we use a Monte Carlo method to search among the different flux Wilson loop sectors. And so uh, this amounts to first choosing some, some gauge um, and then computing the eigenvalues of uh, a complex anti-symmetric uh, you know, non-Hermitian matrix um, using the method outlined by Tomasz uh, you know, Prozen. Uh, I won't go into this detail, but basically, if you have some bilinear Majorana Hamiltonian where this matrix B is, uh, uh, is anti-symmetric, but in general uh, complex, then there's some uh, linear or algebra or voodoo that you can do to find the, the, the eigenvalues. And then the, this non-emission Hamiltonian, you could write sort of like a, you know, a, 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 a harmonic oscillator, sum of harmonic oscillators, um, where you have things like, you know, you know, F dagger F, um, but um, in this case, it's not F dagger F, it's F double dagger F, and F and F double dagger, you know, uh, anti-commute, uh, you know, to give to give one, uh, but they are not Hermitian conjugates of each other. So this is a, a you know, a, um, this is a, a, some, some important detail, but, um, uh, you can, you know, find again find the eigenvalues uh, using this uh, using this method outlined by uh, Prozen. So, um, all right. So the um, you know getting uh, you know toward the end here. So basically, you know what we you know, started is just looking at the simple, you know, uh, uh, you know, two by two case where you can you know, exhaustively look at all the gauge field configurations. Um, and, uh, but the number of gauge sectors is uh, 
two to the three n plus one. Um, so, uh, <coughs> so the um, so for um, if n x and uh, n y are uh, are both um, six, then um, we have uh, the number of gauge sectors is. Uh, um, Ten to the thirty something, um, and and so you know ex an exhaustive search is just unfeasible. Uh, so we try to you know to you know look using simulated annealing to find the lowest relaxation rates, and then so you get curves like like this that look very similar to Shibata and and, and Katsura's results. And I'll mention in a minute why 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 this is uh, that sort of baked in. I mean the the actual you know values are not, but that linear behavior starting off at the one over gamma at, at the large, uh, you know, uh, defacing is, is, is baked in. Um, and um, so um, the uh, uh, you know, one thing we found also was, I mentioned this in Shibata Katsura, if we found that, that if you uh, uh, start with a, a, a given, um, a given Ness in, in a given flux sector, and then you look for what are the the, the lowest uh, lying you know uh, excited states in terms of their you know the, the relaxation rates. Then um, then that also can in, involve um, uh, several of these z two vortices, but not just a single one. So we're we're we're, we're not uh, completely uh, sure how how to understand that, but that seems to happen in Shibata and, and Katsura uh, as well. Um, so, you know, you can see what, in, in the, you know, plot on the, uh, on the left, uh, the difference is whether we take all the, the hopping strengths uh, uh, on, the, on the links in the plane to be the same or all different uh, in these two different figures. But you can see that the green curve is when you just, you put in one Z2 vortex, um, and you find what is the, the minimum uh, uh, relaxation rate in, in that case, and then you could put in two and uh, and and three and 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 four, and it seems that the uh, uh, you know converges after that. But that, that um, the lowest relaxation rate does involve several of these Z two vortices. Um, the uh, here is a picture from this nice paper by uh, Shackleton and Schur. They they uh, again, their their model is slightly different, but but uh, I think you know, substantially uh, you know, similar physics that we were both looking at. And so they, what they did is is they uh, um, fixed the, the, the flux. Um, uh, if I uh, if I get this right, uh, it, 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 as as we did uh, for their their uh, nests, and then reversed you know one. One uh, plaquette flux somewhere in the center uh, of the of the of this uh, of the system, and then they looked at the uh, um, sort of the I guess this is something like the local density of states, or the, um, and the uh, or the, you know, the amplitude of the wave function, um, and so you know again you know they so what, what they found here uh, was that you know, even at at, at Fairly substantial, um, you know, dephasing that these uh, these excitations were were quite quite local. Um, so, um, so that now let me just say, you know, I think one last uh, slide here before I conclude. Um, the uh, um, so. GKLS says you have this, these dynamics. Um, uh, again, in, in this case, this is non-generic because all the jump operators are Hermitian. They're all just you know gamma five um, at whatever site. So here's the here's the, the Liouville, you know the Liouvillean acting on the density matrix. Um, so you can see that if if you want to find the eigenvalues, you know um, if um, if gamma is uh, equal to you know 
zero, then basically uh, any projector onto one of the Hamiltonian eigenspaces will, 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 will be an S. Um, for a small gamma, you know, what you need to do is essentially you know, do some sort of perturbation in gamma and see how, how all those, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, the um, uh, probabilities, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, will, will uh, you know, uh, come together uh, along with the, the, the off diagonal, uh, you know, cat uh, bra states in the density matrices, uh, which are called uh, uh, coherences. And you need to, you, know, you can perturb and find out what the, uh, you know, what are the, uh, <clears throat> what are the, the uh, uh, what are the eigenvalues of L. And so uh, there was a nice paper by um, uh, Ken Oganesi and Orgad and Gopal Krishna a number of years ago, where they did this, they were looking at a model where they just had a single Hamiltonian and a single jump operator, each of which was chosen from the, the, the GUE. Um, so again, a Hermitian uh, jump operator. And, um, and then they argued you know, the, 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 that you could uh, uh, do perturbation theory. And so sort of with that idea, you know, we, we did the same sort of thing. You could derive for small gamma, a master equation, a classical master equation for the, what are called the populations. Um, and um, the, the uh, uh, and, and then the, the, you get this linear behavior in gamma. And then for for large gamma, um, the, the um, you, you can also do the same and basically you know perturb that in the in the Hamiltonian piece because gamma is is very large. So um, we can then compute you know what the uh, what what the coefficient of gamma should be or one over gamma in those two. Uh, regimes, and there's some annoying um, uh, factor of two that that, that we don't uh, understand and we have some idea about, but uh, um, but you know uh, not worth uh, emphasizing here, other than admitting that we we don't uh, have the don't don't have complete agreement here. Um, so uh, that's basically basically uh, it. You know, it's a very artificial model I talked about. Of Dirac matrix spins or uh, spin three halves, uh, you know, quadrupoles, um, coupled to some uh, dissipative, really dephasing environment, um, following the, and generalizing this construction of Shibata and Katsura. Um, the density matrix evolves according to the DKLS master equation, which is equivalent to uh, Schrodinger evolution in a double Hilbert space um, with some non Hermitian Hamiltonian. This non Hermitian Hamiltonian is Kitayev solvable um, as a sing, uh, in this case as a single species or for um, the, for the Shackles and Scherer work, uh, two species of uh, Majoranas <clears throat> hopping in some static Z2 uh, background. Um, we uh, compute the numerically, uh, you know, groping around to find the smallest non zero relaxation rate. Um, because of all these, uh, you know, conserved fluxes, um, there are um, uh, exponentially many non-equilibrium steady states. Um, uh, the one question there should have been a uh, question there, you know, is you know, can this be avoided with some choice of Hamiltonian? Um, uh, I don't think so because, uh, well, we can discuss that later. But. Um, and then there, you know you could you could uh, you could do other other you know, other models. I'm not sure why it would be worth worth it unless you know through some you know, miraculous stroke it was relevant to something. But of course you know Kagame is also um, fourfold coordinated, so you could have a you could have a, uh, a, a, you know, a double Kagame you know layer or, uh, and put the same model on Kagame, and, and there you know you've got triangles. So um, uh, so that, that you know adds something different, but uh, um, but and you could of course generalize this to you know three D and and um, uh, to you know uh, uh, to you know, eight by eight you know gamma matrices if you like. Um, uh, again, I'm not sure you know any of that is really worth it, but you know, hopefully these sorts of investigations will you know, provoke some 
brought into uh, in terms of model building, you know, for these um, uh, def you know, dissipative quantum quantum systems. So that's all I have to say. Thank you for a very nice talk. Uh, it's uh, oh, yeah for questions. Yeah, yeah right. So uh, so your pain result, if I understand correctly, is this. Um, Evaluation of the relaxation rate and how it depends on yeah know, yeah kind yeah. of flex sectors you're in yeah and, and 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 you know I guess also I identifying the all, all these degenerate you know nest subspaces and things like that but basically yes the the the, 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 the that's that, that's what, what we uh, so is there uh, some message that can be learned from this for a system that you cannot exactly solve. I mean, you say that it's close to this model in some way, and so it's long time dynamics would be similar, or I guess I'm trying to think about how to extend the result well, to non exactly possibly be one. useful for anything, you know, <laughs> that, you know, you need to change to talk about. Yeah, um, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, I, we haven't thought of perturbing away from Kataev solvability. That might be uh, you know, worth, um, worth thinking about. We did, you know, we, 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 we were intrigued by, you know, Possibility of doing some sort of you know uh, jump operator engineering you know, um, but with these sorts of models you know that that's a non-starter because you know if all the jump operators are permission you get the, you know these infinite temperature states or you're, you're even worse uh, well maybe 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 it's more interesting a, a whole spectrum of uh, infinite temperature states uh, if one could use each of those different sectors um, you know to do something useful um th then you know th that would be wonderful but i, I don't think you can because you, you're just talking about some you know, local you know fluxes you know and so they're I don't, they're, they're not like protected like uh, you know, the, you know, like the you know wilson loops they they don't they don't involve you know some large products or mm -hmm. things like that so uh but yeah it might, it might be you know worthwhile just poking around a bit to see whether if you you know per, perturb away from this entire solvability that, that you can say anything. Okay, great, thanks. Yeah. Maybe my Harvard friends have figured that out already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in the double Hilbert space, when you talk about flux sectors, so are you talking about a flux sector for the whole double Hilbert space or uh, it's just on a single? Yeah, no, so the for the for the nest sector. It's labeled by the, 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 the fluxes in, in this in the single layer. Like for example, for Shibata Katsura, okay, if we if we if we go back there, let me just get that picture, whatever that was. Uh, oh, here, here, right? Okay, so the, the as I was saying, the, there were two nests in this case the, the, you know, the, uh, that were involved, you know, one plus or minus the product of the Z's. Okay. And um, you know, those are those are then that that's a, you know a, a, a matrix, you know, um, in in this uh, uh, you know it, 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 and, and and it doesn't involve uh, it doesn't involve the, these these plaquette fluxes. Mm -hmm. So you need those to to find you know the eigenstates, but they're not they they you, they don't um, tell you that you know that you have uh, uh, the the they're not good. Um, they don't enter into the count of the the, the, the nests. Ra rather, each nest you you could uh, identify as living in some particular you know flux sector. I would say. I see. So if you write it in terms of the mixed state density matrix, each eigenvector of the mixed state density matrix have the same flux. It's more like a strong symmetry. Each eigenvector of the mixed state. Yeah, so they all have the same flux. It's not a mixture of different flux actors as an I think that's okay. I mean, I'll, uh, let me, I'd want to think more about that. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, just to exactly what I would agree to. Um, but I think you know the in each flux sector, you know, you can have a um, you 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 can have a, a ness. Um, and uh, I think that's true. Um, uh, where did this go here? Um, sorry. Um, 
yeah, so um, I, I want to think more about the, the, the precise statement that, that, that one should make about that. Uh, um, so maybe we can we'll chat later. I can slowly recover the information. Well, any questions from the online audience? Please unmute oh, uh, yourself. Yes. Yes. Hey, Dan. So, so, yeah, so uh, I have a question about the steady state. So say if we start with some uh, initial state uh, you choose, do you know which steady state at the end of the Um, Which steady state will end up? Uh, well, you know, I, I guess um, because the, uh, the uh, if it lies in a particular uh, flux sector, uh, and, and that includes, you know, you know all these, you know, uh, you know, three n plus one, you know, fluxes. So for the x y plaquettes, the x z, the y z, the Wilson loops. So um, I, I, I think that as as it evolves, the um, the those um, those fluxes are are still fixed, and so you know it will have to evolve to some state in in that same flux sector. But if you have a Mixture, uh, yeah. You still there, Sheng Long? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm here. Okay, sorry, I just lost some video over here. Um, yeah, I, I think you know if you evolve uh, in some uh, uh, mixture, then um, then it it it, it may uh, um, depend on the, the uh, um, on on on. You know, what the um, what the actual nature of the initial state is? I see. And is this uh, are those uh, nests their pure state or are they mixed state? Um, the, the nests are their uh, their mixed states. Yeah, so, oh, I see. They, well, I mean, well, they, you know, they're they're okay. They 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 would be. You can think of them as pure states. In this double Hilbert space formulation, but they're they're they're, they're mixed states. Okay, I see. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, thanks. I don't know what happened with that. It's, I think it's a console on the wall. Okay. Uh, Zoom is still working. Uh, okay. So, any other questions from the online audience? All right. If not, uh, let's uh, thank Dan one more time.